It's Jason in Jason's Jungle. As you can see, the buckwheat has romped up in the last couple of days even more. And I have beans that are starting to grow through. So I've done a couple of checks everywhere and yes, the beans are all coming up. So what I'm going to do is gingerly, yeah, bit by bit, take all of this out. And once I've done that, um, this will all go in the compost and we'll see how the bed looks. Now there'll probably still be weeds, but we'll see how many, we'll see how the beans are doing. So the bed's mostly clear, there's still buckwheat in there but it'll come out later and you can see we've got beans, they have got a bit, little bit leggy in places and I have to admit there's a couple of times where I accidentally pulled a bean instead of the buckwheat but there should be enough in here to see if they'll come back as healthy plants, there's some nice healthy ones here at the edges and there's still some buckwheat there but that'll come out once the beans have come up a bit more uh, and this is what you get if you leave a bed with buckwheat in four months four weeks you know so if you can do this with some of your beds you just end up with loads of composting material and uh, you know as I said it's a great green manure if this had been just left empty for a month the amount of weeds on here would have been tremendous so I've got a few other things to do today. This will go up to the compost and I'll go on to my next job in a second. So I'll see you on there. A quick view from the toilet. This is the uh, chuffa, the tiger nuts that I've planted and they're growing. Which has surprised me. I can see one there, one there. I come across here, there's another one there. And then we'll follow up to another one. So at least four of them are grown. Um, I didn't grow them last year. Oop, I found a fifth one over here. I didn't grow these last year. So obviously these tubers aren't from last year. Now I did grow them the year before. But these aren't from then. These are from the year before that. So they were crusty old nuts. Really dried out. Uh, three years old. And they're grown. So that's good because I've just found... The nuts from the year before last. Uh, so I've got some seed there so I can sow them next year and get a crop from them because I think it's going to be far too late to get a crop from these but you never know they might last over winter or something. But yep yeah, these tiger nuts and there's a weed <laughs> these tiger nuts are grown. This time of year there's loads of potatoes. I don't actually like potatoes I never eat them well I never did till I started growing them and then I've had to, and I love them now, but... Uh, anyway, this is another bit of volunteers. This will be the Maris paper. Um, as you can probably tell by the nettles going in it, I've done sod all with this this year. Um, so it's actually not too bad. It's improving better than it was. Still not the best soil on the plot. Uh, maybe it's the worst, but no, you know. Uh, but it's getting better every year. So what I'm going to do is quickly dig these up and I'm not expecting a big hole but I'll get on with it.
said this is the worst bed. We've got a hawthorn hedge right next to it, and that sucks out all the moisture. Uh, and the goodness on the soil. I haven't fed or mended it at all this year. I haven't watered it at all this year. And these were just growing willy nilly from wherever they were left over last year. So it's a free crop, you can't turn your nose up that. And I also managed to pull some of the nettles and uh, weeds out. Okay, I'll see what chores I've got to do and I'll see you later. Here's a view inside those potato buckets I've done the other day. All but one of them have shoots up. Um, so that's, I've done eight of these large buckets that have three potatoes in each one. And I've got eight of the smaller buckets with one potato in each. And so far all but one of the uh, large buckets has turned up. So that's good. I should hopefully be getting more spuds later on. 